Well, if you look up at the skies tonight, you just might be able to see something like this. You're looking at the annual Perseid meteor shower and it's expected to reach its peak and that means stargazers will have a chance to see some of the best meteors of the year. And speaking of stars, let's bring in right now the CBC's senior science reporter, Nicole Mortolato, uh, who's keeping an eye on the skies tonight. Nicole, nice to see you. Uh, talk to us about the expectation here. So we're going to see a lot of meteors. And I can actually, I feel confident enough in saying that. Uh, you know, so on any given night, you can see one or two, a few meteors here and there. But with meteor showered like the Perseids, um, what happens is Earth goes through, basically plows through uh, this debris left over from a passing asteroid or comet. And that increases our chances of seeing more meteors. And the Perseids are known for producing uh, under ideal conditions up to 100 meteors an hour now don't expect to see that necessarily but for example i went out last night and i caught an, a spectacular one that streaked across the sky and that's over uh toronto with city lights and I'm honestly with a street light right in front of my house so we can actually expect to see long streaks uh, fireballs so these are bright meteors um and uh, honestly you won't be disappointed won't be disappointed but uh, we need some tips here what's the best way for people to watch tonight well, of course, clear sky. Um, so, but you want to get to a dark sky location. Uh, that is first and foremost, which, you know, I just said that I saw a meteor um, over the city. But you know what? You need to get away from city lights, from light sources. Go to a park or a beach. Uh, that's first and foremost. Uh, the other thing is you got to remember, stay off the phone. Uh, it takes a time. It takes a while for our eyes to adjust to the dark. So that light from your phone, that can interrupt that uh, adjustment and it could take up to 30 minutes uh, to for your eyes to adjust. Um, and the other thing is you don't have to look necessarily straight up. You can look towards the east, uh, towards the constellation of Perseus, where uh, these meteors seem to be coming from. Uh, and that's in the east. That constellation rises shortly around uh, 930. Um, and, and then the other thing is as well, if you if you're a late night kind of person, you can stay up just before dawn and that's actually when the meteors peak. But first and foremost, um, honestly, get to the dark sky and be patient. And I tell people, um, you know, don't expect to see a bunch of meteors right away. But the other thing is you can actually, this is the one time, you can be a little socially rude. Uh, don't look at each other when you, you're out watching with somebody because you might miss those meteors because they're really fast fleeting. So just, Relax, look up, talk to each other, keep those eyes on the sky. <laughs> okay, so gaze at the stars, not into each other's eyes. Good to know, exactly. Nicole. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Our Perfect. senior science reporter, Nicole Mortolato.